Hey guys, so here's an instalment of my second Disney collection reviews. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing my limited edition Purple Rapunzel 17 inch limited edition doll from the Disney store. I was hunting this one for a while, I only got it a few weeks ago and I'm super excited to do this review. So let's just get right ahead and start. So let's start this review off with a bang by looking at Rapunzel's box. As usual, it has the usual Disney Store logo in the top, and it's for ages 6 plus. And Rapunzel's box, I feel, really ties in with the character, because it's got the colour scheme of her dress, it's got the colour scheme of her hair rolling into the border, and I absolutely love, and I really do love this box. Um, if you, as you can see, going all the way around, it has like the sunflower, uh, not the sunflowers in a flower that's the sunflower, but the flower that came from the sun, going all the way around the box that like you can see them there and they're going all the way around and it appears to be like golden locks of Rapunzel's hair like wrapped around this purple ribbon I really like purple and like that amber coloured yellow together it really does stand out so like Rapunzel's box really does fit her as a character it incorporates the, the flower from the film and her hair um, and at the bottom it's got like a plain like purple bow and it says limited edition one of five thousand Rapunzel on the side of the box like she's got like this filigree like flowery motif going on the plastic there's a side view of her and on the back of the box it's got tangled at the top and it's got like information about the doll certificate of authenticity and display stand included and all the normal stuff so looking at the inside of the box, the background of Rapunzel is the inside of her tower and that is the window that she often looked outside of to look at the lanterns all those years. Um, it's a nice, it's a great background for this doll and looking at her certificate of authenticity which is down here, um, it's a purple certificate as you would expect with like silver holographic embellishes and my number is 4,995 of 5,000 so pretty much one of the last ones made. So the Rapunzel 17 inch limited edition doll is a lot of people's favourites and is growing in popularity day by day and it's not that hard to see why because honestly she is one of the best dolls of the entire line and is one of my favourites and I'm really glad I found her. To me, like, looking at any Rapunzel doll that the Disney store has ever made, I would say that the 17 inch doll is the only one that has actually captured her face perfectly. I mean, look at that, it's exactly like Rapunzel has just stepped out of the movie, she's got the same features, the same smirk, like everything about this doll is to a T and I can really understand why it's so popular and just growing in price. Um, so. With that, let's start off with her face. There's a close-up of her face. She's got her big green eyes with some purple eyeshadow and rooted eyelashes, which are pretty long, but they really do suit her. Um, her eyes, like I said, big and green, just like in the movie. She's got her, her pale pink lips, um, really light pink blushing, and it's, it just looks really like Rapunzel with her, like her signature freckles and everything with her really nice little smirk. I love the face on this, it's a perfect face mould for Rapunzel, they, they really did a good job on this one. Um, let's look at one of the main like focal points of the doll which is her hair and I've seen pictures of her unboxed, like it continues all the way down there as well. Her hair really is gorgeous, um, it's like this this really like golden blonde colour with like gold tinsel flowing through it and I love that they've added the tinsel because it kind of like adds to the fact that her hair is magical, it like glistens and it can kind of symbolise that when she sings her hair does glisten and does glow um, and it just adds that, that extra detail to the hair that really makes it stand out. Um, it's just, it's so long, it goes all the way down and even unboxed it just flows and it really, it's, it's, I think it's the perfect length, it's not too long, not too short um, and like here at the top it's like styled nicely, here it's gelled to keep it in place but the rest of it is pretty soft when you touch it, um, only that bit there is gelled into place. Um, it flows all the way down the back of her, uh, it, she trails off part of it and she holds part of it here. Um, and then the rest of it flows down by her side. It's tied there to keep it in place. And like I showed before, it flows all the way down. If you can see that, all the way down there where it bunches up at the bottom. So they really did her justice there. 
Um, moving down a bit more, we'll just get to her the top part of her bodice. I think Rapunzel's dress in the movie is really, really plain, so I loved how they've jazzed it up and really made it a gorgeous standpoint of the doll. The outfit is just breathtaking. She's got like this really amazing like lacy collar here which goes all the way around with the ribbon tied in the front there which goes she's got this on a lot of her dolls actually this the the ribbon at the front goes all the way down to reveal two little gems there if you can see those so her designer doll has that and i believe her um couple doll has that but yeah back to the top it's got a lace trim for the for the collar um, on the sides it's got like those puffy shoulders like snow white style shoulders which i really really love it's it's like layered into like purple silk um, a golden divider and a pink silk um, and then as you look at the bodice completely it's got like the lacy bit that's tied up in the front there kind of looking like a corset um, this part is like gems to the heavens it's got like really pale purple gems there on a silk material and the flowery um, embellishments on there are like a velvet so it's a nice textured effect to the body to the bodice and then here where the bodice meets the skirt it's like a lace trim going all the way around pretty similar like her collar um, I really love how they judged that up and made it amazing they incorporated it really nicely into her sleeves so her sleeves are like this this really like not not an organza but like a silky kind of organza and it goes all the way down and her sleeves just flow all the way down they're like really long sleeves kind of like the maleficent 17 edition 17 inch if you've seen that um so i like how they incorporated her sleeves and made them a little bit different on you can see it a bit better on that side it's like layered on the on the inside it's got like the lace trims the same as her bodice there um so i love how they've done that um, one hand she's holding her hair as we've already seen and on the other side she's holding her comb that she combs her hair so she can brush and brush and brush her hair um, so yeah she's holding the comb in one hand and then moving down to the skirt which really is impressive it's got like three layers so I'll show you one two can you see that two three so she's got like three layers to her um, dress. Um, the outside layer, the first layer, is like a purple organza layer, and on the sides, it's got like um, like glitter details of like flowers and the embellishments there, with gems to hold each flower into place. On the inside layer, it is a lighter purple organza. I hope you can see that. And then the final layer inside for her main skirt is like a, a purple silk with dark purple velvet um, embroidery, which I really, really like. It really d looks gorgeous. Like it stands out so much and adds that bit of texture. Same as her bodice, but on her dress. Um, and that too is also jeweled with pale purple jewels. And then the rim of the skirt is like laced and it's ju it just finishes off the doll perfectly. As you go under, she's not wearing any shoes, as you would expect, because Rapunzel never wore shoes in the film, except for probably at the end when she got married. Um, but yeah, that is my review of the limited edition 17-inch Rapunzel doll. So there we go, that is the end of my review of the Purple Rapunzel limited edition 17-inch doll from the Disney store. Um, she's the first um, of the Rapunzel dolls to come out. She came out with the Blu-ray re release of Tangled and she retailed for £60. Um, she is really rare, I know she's like one of the most popular ones and I can see why because she definitely is one of the best of dolls detail wise. Um, like she's one of the popular ones, she is quite expensive, her prices are like going up to like £900 now, it's absolutely insane. Um, I got her in a set with the Wedding Rapunzel which I will also do a review of and I'm pretty excited for that one as well. Um, but yeah, check out some of my previous videos up there, my social media links down there and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!